Hi, my name is Dr. Susan Bowell. I'm an associate professor of medicine at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And at this meeting, I was delighted to share some of the updated results from a phase one multi-center study of BMS 986393, which now has a name that's known as Arlo Captagene Autolucil or Arlo Cell. Uh, and we're updating the results from the phase one study here at this ASH. So essentially, as we've discussed before, this is a phase one study in patients with relapsed and refractory multiple myeloma who've had at least three prior lines of therapy, including an immunomodulatory agent, a proteasome inhibitor, and a CD38 monoclonal antibody. In the study, prior BCMA-directed therapy was permitted. And essentially, we were looking at dose escalation between doses of 25 to 450 million, as well as trying to understand the safety and efficacy profile of this CAR-T. So what we saw was that on this study, we had a pretty heavily pretreated population, um, you know, median of five prior lines of therapy. Patients had high-risk disease, 42%, and they also had extramedullary disease in about 46% of the cases. Um, almost half of the patients, 49%, were previously exposed to BCMA, so uh, that was, that was uh, something unique. In addition, we had about 20% of those BCMA exposed patients were actually refractory to their BCMA-directed therapy as well. Uh, so what we see is, you know, so the toxicity profile shows that there's lots of cytopenias, which is, you know, very similar to what's been seen with other products. This does resolve, you know, for the patients who had ongoing uh, cytopenias beyond the first 30 days, the vast majority, 82%, did resolve. Uh, we see that the infection rate, particularly risk of high-grade infections, was low on the study. Overall, we saw less than 20% um, of the cases, and at the recommended phase to do as it was 12%. Um, in the study, we had about 84 patients that did complete infusion of the Arlo cell. Um, within this population, 79 were valuable for efficacy, and among those, the overall response rate was 87% um, with a complete response or better rate of 53%. Uh, this is the first time we also saw initial results from the progression-free as well as overall survival, and in this efficacy valuable population, that was 18.3 months. Uh, median progression-free survival, which I think is, 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 is very impressive in this particular patient population. What was also interesting was that the median PFS was about the same for patients who did and did not have prior BCMA-directed therapy. And what was really impressive to me was the overall survival. Uh, median is obviously not reached at the time of most recent follow-up. The follow-up is about 16 months uh, for these patients. And what we see is that the 12-month estimate of survival is 90%. Uh, so that's that's really exciting and encouraging, uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, that will translate into um, improved outcomes for our patients. In terms of other toxicities, of course, it's a GPRC5T directed therapy. So, you know, we do see uh, skin, nail, and oral toxicities, but these are usually of much lower grade uh, and much lower incidence than what is seen with T-cell engager type therapies uh, that target GPRC5D. In almost 80% of the cases, additional intervention was not needed for these patients. Um, we also saw cytokine release syndrome, which was in the order of 82%. High grade was only 4%. We see eye cans, again, very similar to other studies, about 10% all grade and 2% high grade. We also saw some, you know, atypical sort of non eye cancer neurotoxicity that affected uh, caused dizziness, ataxia, gait disturbances, etc., that were seen in about 12% of the cases, high grade in about 7%. These appear to be more dose dependent, and you know, we're sort of working to understand why these occur and if there's a way to perhaps mitigate or diagnose these early. So, that part of the study is really ongoing. And as the phase two now accrues, patients hope to learn more about this toxicity.